who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. It's a Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. This is nice. That is nice. It's made out of wood. Yep. Already, thank you, Gabriella. We're gonna hang that in our kitchen. This is so nice. I like this a lot. Thank you so much. came through last week hopefully it's coming this week too but today we got Kennedy and his wife coming today Sunday to get wrapped church so yeah man shout out to everybody who's in Houston participating in the Lucha Gang 90 day boot camp challenge man remember if you slip up one day you know just get back on it the next day don't just fall completely off you know what I'm saying like there's been times this this year that I didn't run this morning, but you know, for the most part I did, but there's been days where I didn't run. But every day this year, I started my morning with prayer and that's the most important thing is you start your morning with prayer. So you might miss a chapter of the book you're supposed to read. You might not make it to run in the morning, but make sure you start your morning with prayer. That's the most important thing. You don't want to miss out on the first conversation of the day, which is the most important conversation of the day, talking to your heavenly father. Yeah, but that is not an excuse to not wake up tomorrow and be like, well, like you said, he missed a day out of the year because, you know, don't yeah, you do... you still got to get out there and run. Don't do... Compound as, interest. When, when you do those daily disciplines every day, they add up and they compound over time and that's what changes your life for the better. What's that saying? Don't, don't do as I say. Do as I say, not as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. That one. <laughs> This morning he didn't want to get up, but thankfully I got up and that motivated him to get up. So yeah, I, I mean, went to I go run. I went and ran 6:45 in the morning. Went out there and ran, but it, it see it's different. It's hard. It's harder for us because we got a baby that wakes us up in early in the middle of night or five in the morning. He be up, so it's kind of hard, difficult. But we still push through and make it happen. Yeah, I used to be like I'm too tired, but now I'm just like, all right, baby girl, let's go. Like he's my alarm. Uh, we're pulling up to the church house, praying blessings over y'all. Uh, thank God for another day. Thank God for the little blessings because if he gives you a little, you know, giving him glory for just the little things, he will bless you with bigger and better things. That's right. You so, gotta have an attitude of gratitude, baby. All right, guys, just pulled up and about to run in here. We're kind of late. They praying for my downfall. They don't wanna see me shine it up. If God is for me, then who could come against me? Oh my God. You don't understand. Like, Pastor Benny. Okay, so let me just explain what just happened. So, Pastor Juan, Steph, and like a lot of the uh, members of the church. the church are in Connecticut um, working because there's a, a church, a get rap church over there in Connecticut. So, they're out there trying to pour into them and pour into that church. So, Pastor Benny had to step in today. And so, uh, where, where we're at right now is basically talking about being real. And Pastor Benny was saying, like, you're, it's, a part, it's a part of life is suffering. But you have to be real with yourself and be transparent and know, like, what is your why? Like, what hurt you? Like, what's going on? Like, where, what area are you, like, struggling in? And not be prideful about it and be like, you know, like, you have to really lay it all down because a lot of the times your weakness becomes 
what your strength. your strength like your weakness becomes your strength be if you if you you know are real and, and transparent and admit to it and, and ask god for help to help you through that and, al and allow yourself to grow out of that and grow into a new you a new you know uh version of yourself so we just came across the street we're at chicho's um, oh, we brought kennedy and his wife with us yeah so we ended up bringing the couple that came um you have, key? You have the key yeah yeah, yeah i brought it in here. So we're gonna go in here and eat because Lucky is hungry, and we are gonna introduce y'all to them. <laughs> I just caught him off guard. So this is Kennedy and this is Glenda. You guys remember we we're telling y'all that they were coming to church. So shout out to them to show for showing up, and we are about to dig in. Can I have lime and salt? Salt in the morning. Now look, man. He know part of the challenge. Thirty days, he ain't supposed to have no coke, no soda water. He's supposed to stick with the good old double chico lemonade. <laughs> tell them what happened. Kelly told me to order the whole Mexican coke. No, tell them what happened. He ordered the coke. He, but he was joking. Yeah. Oh. He was like telling her like. So you can freak out. Hey, y'all didn't, didn't catch on to it. I caught like, it when I seen her drop that big coke in front of me. And then she said she actually brought it. Selfie time, selfie time. How'd y'all like them, that food? Oh, it was good. It's good, good huh? Chai chos. Y'all come holler at Chai chos. Come on. <laughs> the spiritual food, come though. Come on, babe, it's counting down. Oh, my bad. You committed assault. Get up, it's gonna beat him up, go. holiday at the Luciano residence Columbus Day and no kids are at school today so wifey and I have our hands full it's the next day we didn't finish our vlog yesterday we was about to but we didn't we left church we went and visited my parents and then ate some barbecue and came home went to sleep so we didn't upload a vlog but hey we back at it today so how y'all doing how y'all doing we finessed Lucky to bring us to Macy's. Because he told me he was going to give me some clothes and some shoes and all this other stuff yesterday. And then today he was like, I don't know. I didn't want to. I was like, what? You didn't want to. It's just if he gets it for you, he has to get it for everybody else. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's fair. I know. Because well, it was supposed to be. Like it was Christmas. It was supposed to be a, a boy's day. And then Leah's like, uh, Alright, we're so we're in Macy's with everyone from our bed. About to get some clothing. Um, yeah. I'm about to show you what we get. Yeah. I got some drippy jacket. Look at this jacket. I got this jacket right here when it starts to get cold and I got some um, I picked I got this you're shirt dropping Houston, you're dropping Houston oh. stuff Oops. I got this shirt and I got these black pants because I need some black pants shirt and baby bro got some Adidas and a Nike suit so we're at the checkout, we're um, taking out our clothes right now, we're about to leave and go to the house. I kind of want some shoes though. I'm wearing, I'm wearing, I'm rocking some Air Forces right now. <laughs> Kingston, you happy now? You didn't put the seatbelt on, Kelly Jane. Kingston? Yes. Kingston was complaining he didn't have nothing to wear to school, so we had to go get him something. 
And then we had to stop at the grocery store because I ain't had nothing to make for lunch. I want Kelly Jean to make me some hamburger meat enchiladas. Do you know how to do that? I mean, it's pretty easy, but it's just I've, known, I've never had an enchilada with hamburger. You guys, when Lucky was coming out the grocery store, he was looking swole pushing that shopping cart. I was, baby. Yeah, I was like, what? The glow up is real. Man, it's been 50 push ups every morning. All that baby. The glow up is real. We're about to get home, unload these groceries, unload these children, and just call it a day, man. Because honestly, like. I got work to do still. Yeah, well, you know, I'm talking about call it a day with y'all. Um, it kind of sucks because, like, when we stop vlogging, it's hard to get back in that rhythm. I know. I always say that it's better to vlog every day. If you vlog every day, it's easy. But when you stop vlogging, it's hard to pick it back up and do it again. It's just like anything, like when you're running in the morning, exercising, whatever it is you do. If you just stop doing it, it's hard to pick it back up. That's why it's, it's key to stay consistent with whatever you're doing. Yeah, so we've been trying to vlog, like, this whole week, but then, like... When we get to editing, we're like, this isn't it. Like, we don't want just to throw anything up on YouTube. So, um, yesterday we did a little vlog and, and we didn't end up finishing it. We ended up spending time with our family. And then I was just like, we're just going to have to finish it tomorrow. Okay, so what, you want to do a 30 day challenge? No. <laughs> vlog every day for 30 no. days. Let's just do it. Sure. How about um vlog every day for the rest of the year? How about that? Yeah. I could have sworn at the beginning of this year that's what we we're supposed to do anyway. Yeah. Well we can try. There is no try. There is you either do it or you don't. It's just hard. It's hard because we have our hands full. So like It's not hard vlogging, it's just hard when it's time to sit down and edit it when we got a lot of other stuff going on. Not only that, it's like on a daily we have to edit. But no excuses. I don't want y'all to pull out y'all's violin. I was just trying to say that it sucks that we haven't been uploading for y'all. So here is this one. And just cheer us up. Cheer us on. Tomorrow we got another banger coming. We we're going to go uh, remodel Kelly Jean's mama's house. We're not going to remodel it, but we're going to take the first step, which is cleaning it out. And then she wants to paint it. I told her we're going to go to Home Depot, hire two uh, workers right there. and tell them I to want to paint it myself, though. And he doesn't want to let me. So, yeah. We're getting out. We're getting situated. And we love y'all. Stay true. Stay blessed. We will be back. Yes.